What's up guys, welcome back to another video at the sawmill. My name is Caleb Plank. My sawmill is Plank Mills. Today I'm going to try to show you guys how to adjust your lumber scale and your blade so that your blade is cutting a true one inches off the cross bunk. So here I've got a one inch board and a board that's a little thicker than one inch. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this thing cut down to a true one inch. Um, so in order to do that, I'll need to make sure that my blade is set at a one inch off the cross bunk. I'm gonna pull this down, go past one inch. I can go down to a half inch there. I'm gonna bring it back up to one inches. So it looks like I might still be a little bit high. According to that, we are about an eighth inch too high. And that means that I'm going to have to adjust my scale down another eighth inch. So what I'm going to do is take my scale, the magnetic scale here, and just move that up actually to an inch and one eighth. Because that's what the cut is showing off of the cross bunk. So now I can move my blade down to one inch. like so. Now we can try to make that cut again and see if it is a true one inch off the cross bunk this time. Okay, so there we took off just a little sliver of wood. So I'm thinking we probably got it down really close this time. Now according to that we are actually just a fuzz under one inch. So we need to raise the blade up just a hair. So again I adjusted my scale just a little bit so that it's showing that my cut is just a little bit under one inch. Now all I have to do is raise the blade up about another sixteenth inch, and we should be dead. Okay, now we've cut about half of that board. Now let's check out our next cut and see what we have. Here's where we stopped our last cut. And you can see it's just a, a little bit thicker. So let's measure that. Ah, oh, that's a perfect one inch. So now I've got my blade set at a perfect one inch off the cross bunk. And I used a piece of wood to get that thickness um, by just adjusting the blade and the scale up and down until I got the blade height right. So now I know that the blade is at exactly one inch off the cross bunk. So if my scale is different than that, all I have to do is adjust the scale to the red mark, which is where the blade is at. So here I need to adjust my scale down just a hair to match where the blade is. And then when I'm cutting a one inch board on the bottom off the cross bunk, I can go with my scale because I know that is set properly. So there you have it guys. That is how I like to adjust the scale on my Norwood HD36 sawmill. I like to do this rather than try to measure to the blade off of the cross bunk to test cut and see where the blade is actually cutting and then go off of that measurement to set my scale. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this useful and helpful. Get out there, make some sawdust and 